Man, that stuff is the holiday version of Beyonce because it slays. <laughs> Happy holidays all and welcome back to my channel. My name's Chris and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And not just because it's December 21st, but because I finally got to make my first trip to the USA in nearly two years this past weekend. And to me, it just felt like... Ah! After 10,000 years, I'm free! You wouldn't believe the volume of totally cool stuff I found while I was down there. And in fact, I want you to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you the chance to vote on which items that we're gonna review in a special Christmas Day video release. Now with all that Christmas talk and the fact that I have been on top of Christmas on this channel since the beginning of November, it's kind of unbelievable. I haven't had my first glass of eggnog this holiday season, but we're about to change all that. Eggnog is actually my second favorite holiday drink behind the Little Drummer Boy cocktail. Super easy to make, it's three parts rum and one part pump. Now for today's video, I have with me two different kinds of eggnog, both from the President's Choice collection. President's Choice, or PC brand, is a huge Canadian conglomerate sold exclusively through the Loblaws network of grocery stores. Generally speaking, the quality's pretty good on PC branded products, so I'm optimistic about this video. Our two eggnogs that we have today are the rich and creamy chocolate eggnog and the candy cane eggnog, rich and creamy. While I was there, I also saw that advent calendars were marked down and you might wanna hurry up and get your hands on them. Their days are numbered. All right, y'all, there's no sense in delaying this any further. Let's crack in and see if PCs bring in the Christmas cheer this year and I'm gonna start with the chocolate. Hmm. That's a super interesting mix. And I like that the mixologist didn't go ham on the chocolate because I think that an overpowering chocolate wouldn't be very pleasant with eggnog. Admittedly, I was kind of nervous about this one because the idea struck me as a really weird blend, but this does have some really good balance to it. Comparative to the normal eggnog, I would still probably defer to the normal eggnog, and I don't think that I'd buy this again, but it's not because it's bad. It's just that eggnog is really limited to just November and December, so if I'm only gonna pick up one box of eggnog in any given holiday year, I'm probably gonna go with the original. Now I'm gonna move to the candy cane one in just a second, but I'm curious, what is Santa bringing your kids this year? My son, who's a bit of a lunatic and an outside of the box thinker, actually asked for a claw machine. You know the giant scams at the stores where you put in a loony and the claw just sort of goes around and tries to pick up a toy and then drops it at the last second? My, my son is like friggin' Rain Man when it comes to those things. The kid just owns the soul of those machines and I guess he's ready to turn professional. Wayfair had a really cute looking one, so we're seeing if Santa's gonna be able to pony up the cost of that one, unless my son meant an actual full arcade claw machine, in which case we're gonna be looking down the barrel of St. Nicholas. Okay guys, I'm done with the dad jokes, I promise. Ooh! I love the way that smells. It's super seasonal. You've got the eggnog smell of like nutmeg and heavy cream, but then there's just a little bit of candy cane accompanying it. I'm really kind of excited about this one. That is wonderful. I mean, look at this. Unless they're trying to deceive us with the picture, all they did was put a candy cane in this bottle of eggnog. So I think, I think, I think I prefer it to regular eggnog, but it's really close. If I was choosing between the two, it would probably be like a whimsical decision that I make at the store. Man, that stuff is the holiday version of Beyonce because it slays. Yeah, 
I lied to you about the dad jokes. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't even feel bad. All right, so the final lowdown is this. This is 100% worth your time. And if you live in Canada, I say give this one a go. The chocolate one is a little bit more meh for me. And I think that you can probably accomplish the same thing with regular eggnog and a little bit of quick chocolate syrup in there. Find out if you actually like it. Because if you don't, then you're not stuck with a whole bottle of chocolate eggnog that you're not gonna wind up drinking. Both really good though. Zero complaints. And I'm certain my son is gonna go to pound town on the chocolate one. Now, as promised, we're gonna hold a little vote for this year's Christmas episode, and I've got three options available for you. Option number one is if you want a Hostess coffee review, and yes, these are real Hostess coffees, including the blends like Ding Dong, Twinkie, and Snowball, use the hashtag Hostess coffee in the comments below. Your second option is if you are in favor of a Coffee Mate Creamer Showdown, including Funfetti, and peppermint mocha and lots and lots of others put hashtag coffee mate down below and our third option is if you have long wondered which captain crunch is truly the winner in the high seas i have eight different boxes of captain crunch to go through including the options of crunch berries peanut butter and even canadian if that's up your alley comment below with the hashtag aye aye so I'll give you guys until Friday morning to finish voting on which one you want to see. And whatever the majority decides with is the video that you'll be opening up on Christmas morning with the rest of your presents. And of course, I will be back tomorrow evening on Food News Wednesdays, leading off with a very disturbing story about the McDonald's Hamburglar. And if you want to be the first to find out when that video drops, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button to this channel. I appreciate the support of each and every one of you, and I will catch you again tomorrow. Ciao for now.